I've captured Renegade Voss. Get your boss on the line. And I thought Trandos looked hideous out of carbonite. Sir, your bounty hunter has just delivered Renegade Voss into my custody. You've renewed my faith in your profession, bounty hunter. I'll be wiring a substantial sum to an account of your choosing. I never get tired of hearing that. I imagine not. That concludes our business, if there is nothing else. What are you gonna do with your prisoner now? When there is no longer any use for it, it'll be executed for its crimes against the Ascendancy. He's harmless. Just let him go. The White Maw's in shambles. You don't need to keep Blizz locked up. The alien was a member of an organization that has caused a lot of damage to Chiss' sovereign territory. Enough, Kel. The creature's crimes are hardly exceptional, and its worth is questionable. If you agree to a reduction of your pay, I'll release it to your custody. I accept the terms. Turn him over. Kel, release the creature, and see that it is delivered to the bounty hunter ship. Yes, sir. Again, a pleasure dealing with you. Consider yourself a guest of the Ascendancy while on Hoth. Behave yourself and pull your weight, and you can stay. Ah, there goes the peace and quiet. Oh, hush, we're all glad to have you along, Blizz. I'll second that. Looks like the Chiss sent the payout. Wow, you think we'll rake in this much on all our jobs now? The blacklist ones, anyway. Well, if we're done here, I'm gonna go take a nice long shower. Take Blizz with you. I don't think he's familiar with the concept. Someone's calling to congratulate you. I can't miss this. Well, so much for hazing. We're the only ones looking foolish. An unprecedented success. I'll admit it. You're good. Now that you're up to your ears and credits, you'll need an excuse to spend them. Let's hear your offer, Bloodworthy. You just took down the two hardest targets on the blacklist, back to back. If that isn't cause for celebration, I don't know what is. So, we're throwing you a party. We've procured a penthouse suite for the occasion. Best spot on the promenade, I'm told. You'd better show. Who could resist an invitation like that? Sounds fun. I mean, come on, we could use a little break. Be sure to charge everything to the room. Try not to go overboard. You're the one who's been making bank these days. The room's already booked on Nashida. You can meet us there. Guess you really lucked out signing up with me. Now that they've left the White Maw, they shouldn't have anything to worry about. Tanta 
you can actually cook. You. Of course. I can't imagine you in a kitchen. Hardly ever been in a kitchen, mostly cook in the field. Gotta have proof if you're making claims like that, Torian. Good idea. Dingilar? What's that? Guess you'll find out. You remind me of someone. A friend of mine, Cordan Ordo. Great Alorod. Served with him and his clan on Eriadu. Told you about that, right? Pretty sure you didn't. Sent in to secure a weapons factory. Half the planet is factories. Like Coruscant, but dirtier. Pretty quiet, except for snipers and mines. Real trouble was waiting in the factory. Resistance fighters, geared with stealth generators, hiding among the workers. How'd you flush them out? Stealth fields don't full thermal detonators. Cordan got most of the workers out. Got us undercover. Could have been worse. Good at thinking on his feet. Sorta of like you. Guess I could do worse. Mind if I ask you a personal question? You wanna ask me something? Ask. What made you enter the Great Hunt? It's not something I can just sum up for you. Ask myself the same question. Got that answer too. Next hunt gets called. I plan to be there. <laughs> Meet our new product. Had our salt shipment bottled as special tablets to help organics retain water. Now we just need to seal the deal. I want you with me when our prospective buyer calls. Keep him from getting too comfortable. We'll be meeting an Arcona named Gruna to convince him to act as our supplier to the colony. Sounds simple enough. This chump would do anything for enough credits to get off Tatooine. I don't think it'll take much to get poor Gruna to bite. Bruna, good to hear from you. Looking well. Lose some weight. Oh, him? Never mind him. Had to let go of my last security detail in favor of this one. Consummate professional. Say hello. We look forward to doing business with you, Gruna. See? A perfect gentleman. You know, Gruna, I'm a bit of a philanthropist. Did I mention that? Grojaman. My visit to Tatooine left me inspired by the plight of rugged folks like yourself trying to squeeze life out of that dust bowl. Making life easier for the little guy, that's my motto. And helping you hardworking souls is now my personal mission. He'll put himself in the poorhouse if that's what it takes. My associate worries too much. My friend Gruna and his pals wouldn't leave me holding the bag. There'll be plenty of prosperity to go round. The top chemists at Rowing Industries developed this little wonder for us. A compound designed to maximize water retention in organic life forms. The benefit to hard-working subsistence farmers such as yourself is immeasurable. Can you be sure you'll ever be able to afford that at the rate you're going? We're helping you use less water, leaving you more time to sell. It'll pay for itself several times over. You're in a good position, Gruna. You stand to make a lot of money as my distributor once things take off. Tell you what, I'll send you a sample. If your friends aren't begging you for more in a matter of days, you can keep it. No charge. Don't mention it. I hope we'll be hearing from you soon. Come on, partner. I have a feeling we'll need to increase our supply. Now we wait for Gruna gets his friends hooked and watch the credits trickle in. I thought you were crazy when you pitched this little scheme. I'm unconventional, not a crackpot. Remember that. You seem to have an knack for this line of work. I think it's time we take off the kid gloves and find a big score. I'll do a little legwork while you find ways to spend your newfound wealth.
I guess, just throw their ciphers a party with clowns and a juggling bantha. Stupid data pad is impossible to decrypt, but not all is lost. Found a holo address for Coral, I think. I mean, it could be her. I sort of wanted you around when I called her. Get it over with so we can get back to work. That's you, encouraging as always. Right, it's nothing to worry about, it's just a stupid call. Hello? Hi. Coral? It's Coral, right? I I'm Mako. Mother of... M Mako? My little sister Mako? I, I can't believe it. I thought... I thought you were dead. How did you find me? Wasn't exactly easy. I, uh, ran into an SIS guy looking for you. Isaac? The SIS agent? Was his name Isaac? Name was Carteri. Oh no. Uh, Mako, you've gotta help me. Please. If you're gonna tell me SIS is after you, I already figured that out. Carteri's just one of the agents after me. Isaac's the one leading them. If he finds me... What? What's he want you for? I've gotta go. I I've been on this channel too long already. He's on drum and cost looking for me right now. If there's anything you can do to stop him. Wait, Coral, what's going on? Why is he after you? They're already trying to trace my location. I, I have to go, please. You're the only hope I've got. What is it with people never answering my questions? She's your sister. We can look for Isaac if you want. Your call. Let's go to Drum and Koss. again. I hope this visit's better than the last. Anyway, Bloodworthy sent directions and the passcode for the elevator. Should take us straight up to the top floor. You ready to hit the promenade in style? Come on, Mako. Time to party. Torian, you and the others finished locking down the ship. We'll meet you at the party. See you there. <laughs> 